During the ring, your 125-pound NCAA champion, Nico Megalutis of Penn State. And Nico, if you will, uh, make a brief statement about your match, and we'll open it up for questions. I'm the champion. I don't know, man. There's nothing else to it. I'm the champion. Okay, it's a damn good feeling. Uh, Zeb Miller, Flow Wrestling, Go High Cast. Nico, this has been such a long road. Two, two, three, one, I believe are the finishes. How does that feel to finally be, know that you're the national champ? You earned it. It was never really in question. You dominated. First period takedown. Was there any doubt after that first period takedown you were going to win it? You know, I'm, if I get a takedown early, it's pretty tough to beat me because I'm not going to get tired, you know. And I just want it, you know. Um, yeah, I just want it. That's it. Up front? Nate with the CDT. Nico, obviously here in your uh, senior year, your final year, what does it mean to cap it off? I mean, it seems like you're a little lost for words and you keep saying champion. I'm the champion. <laughs> I don't know, man. Um, yeah, lost for words. I, you know, I don't want to be cocky by saying that or anything, but it just feels good. It feels good. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen, for reminding me to remind you to identify yourselves. And uh, Gary, you were, right here? here? Okay. Nico, Tim from BWI. I've seen you win a lot of matches over the past four years, but never have you been this happy afterwards. How do you celebrate this? How do you, how do you enjoy it? This is... I don't know. It, it's not even celebration. It's just relief. I don't know. I'm just relieved. I knew I was going to be the champion. It, it was a done deal a year ago when I had signs everywhere. You know, my room at Penn State, my room at home, my bathroom at home, my wrestling room at home, my car steering wheel. I am the 2016 national champion. You know, I come into my car every day on my steering wheel, and I see that, and I brainwashed myself, and I don't know, I brainwashed myself, and I got it done. It was done a year ago. Gary? Uh, Gary, out of USA Wrestling. Nico, two little questions. One, um, explain the first takedown. We watched it on the TV in here, and it was like, it's not a normal technique for either of you guys to be in, so if you could explain how it came out on that one. And the follow-up is, uh, you qualified for the Olympic trials. Will you wrestle in a couple of weeks up in Iowa City? Heck yeah, I'll wrestle, man. That, that's, that's the plan, or that was the plan. You know, like I said a year ago, I want, you know, this was the first step, obviously. You know, I wanted this, but... Olympic trials champion, you know, that was what I was thinking about right after this. You know, obviously the whole season the focus is this, but I'm training to be to beat, you know, those top guys in the US internationally because I've proven I've been there, you know. I've I you know, two years ago I was in the world trials finals or yeah, the challenge tournament and I lost on a point that doesn't exist, you know, which actually doesn't exist, and I mean, I didn't deserve to win that match, but, you know, it proved two years ago <coughs> when I was right there, you know, and I was smaller then, you know, and now, I'm, I don't know, they said they wanted to drug test me, so I said, are my arms looking big or something, <laughs> <laughs> so I think that may be it. Uh, question in the back there. Nico, Jim Carlson, Harrisburg. Uh, just how jacked up were you when you were running out the red carpet to the match? And, and did you, with all the atmosphere and all, did you have to temper yourself down a little bit? Um, yeah, of course you're jacked up. You know, you're ready to go. But it's a calm ready. That's what it is. It's a, I'm calm and I'm ready. That's what it was, you know. I was pumped up. Ready to go. I knew I was a champion. Nico, uh, Eric Knopfsnyder from the Tribune Democrat in Johnstown. Uh, all those signs that you've got up, the one on the steering wheel, do those stay there now or do they come down? I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> I 
think they're going to stay there for a little bit. Maybe right before, I don't know. I was going to say right before the trials, but, you know, I don't know. Um, I'm going to obviously look at them as soon as I get in my car. I don't know, I'll probably give it a kiss or something, you know. And I don't know, I'll be happy. But, dang. Uh, yeah, it'll be cool to see it. Those signs would have a one-year shelf life, wouldn't they? <laughs> back no, here in the back. With my writing, uh, they're pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Back here in the back. Sir. I, uh, do you have identify a Identify yourself, please. Yeah, it's Eddie Goldman, No Holds Barred. Sorry about that. Do you have a plan, other than the Olympic trials just coming up a couple of weeks, for what you're going to be doing with wrestling and sports over the next three, four, five, six years? Have you thought about that, or is it too early? Yeah, I'll be competing in the Olympics in August after the Olympic trials. I'll win that and I'll be in uh, the Olympics in Rio. Um, it'll be a nice place there. I'm excited. One more question. Over here. I'm Mitch Rupert from the Williamsport Sun Gazette. Nico, could you have been content with your career without this moment? Um, you know, I'm a child of God. You know, I, I'm very faithful, you know, um, God has a plan for everything. Um, if I didn't win this, obviously it would have stung, but, you know, I'm a child of God and there's a bigger purpose. This isn't the biggest thing in my life, you know, I got many more things and probably things that I'm well, things that I probably won't plan that God has for me, um, you know, by those terms, those are way bigger than this, even though this feels good. One final question right there. Hey, Nico. Paul Schiffel from the Tribune Review. Uh, first of all, congratulations. Um, you're a person who really never celebrates, but today you kind of let it go. Um, was it just a plan or just, just a relief? It's a relief. Just a relief. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't have anything else to say besides just relief. I know this, I said it on there, that interview was probably pretty bad. I don't know what I said. <laughs> I don't even know what I said 30 seconds ago here. <laughs> um, except my arms were big, I guess. <laughs> well, you, you said plenty on the map. Congratulations to Nico Megalubis, our 125-pound national champion for Penn State. Thank you. Thank you.